Hey guys, welcome to a new tutorial. My name is Diego, I'm the founder of Markeco, where we help you get Facebook Blueprint certified and just become a better digital marketer and just run your ads and be more successful with getting results for them. Today we have a pretty cool topic. Uh, we've talked about this in previous sessions in our live questions. Uh, and it's basically the difference between daily and lifetime budget. I think this is something that makes a huge difference in your campaigns and you get questions on the exam on this as well. But it's important for you to understand when to use each. What's the difference between using daily versus lifetime? Uh, what scenarios should you be using one versus the other? And, and basically, how does it differ? And so we're gonna talk about lifetime budget first, daily budget second, and then just best practices for each and how to use them. And so if you look at lifetime budget, basically lifetime budget is how much you're willing to spend over the entire runtime of your ad set or campaign. And what this basically means is that if I have 30 days and I have $1,000, I can basically go to Facebook and say, in those 30 days, make sure you spend $1,000. How you spend it, how much money you spend each day, it doesn't really matter. But what matters is that within those 30 days, you actually spend those $1,000. And so how does a lifetime budget look like over time? Um, and so this is basically how your daily budget will look like if you wanna graph it, let's say if we do this, and this is time, and this is gonna be my budget, right? And so how much budget am I spending over time? And let's say I have, I don't know, $1,000 that I'm spending. So, and we're gonna say this is 50, and this is 100. Let's say the first day it could spend 50, the second day you could say, well, it spent 75, third day 25, it went back to 75, went back to 50, uh, went back to 75, you know, and so on. And so you have 50, 75, 25, 75, 75, 50, 50, and 25. So if you graph this over time, basically it's gonna look like this, right? It's a little roller coaster, which can go all over the place. Um, because Facebook is basically trying to optimize your campaign over your budget. Like it's, it's not necessarily about the result and optimizing results, but more spending the budget and making sure that you get the most out of that budget, right? So it's gonna find conversion events or impressions depending on the type of campaign that you find that you optimize for. You know, it's gonna find more here sometimes and less optimizations here. And so Facebook is gonna determine how much money you spend each day over time but it's not gonna go over your thousand dollars. That's basically your limit. That's how much money you're giving Facebook to spend over time, over those 30 days, 10 days, or whatever you're using, right? But Facebook can actually determine the, the, the spend that it's doing over time. And so there's really no control of how much money you're spending. It's more about spend as much money as you can. Uh, I wouldn't say as quickly as possible, but in a way where I'm not necessarily optimizing for results. Um, I'm optimizing more for, for my spend on my budget. And so when do you use lifetime budgets? I think when you have a defined timeline, as I mentioned, you actually know that you have 30 days, 10 days, and you're running a campaign for that specific time frame. And you actually wanna make sure that Facebook spends the budget. Uh, it's not necessarily about the conversions or the results, but it's more about ensuring that you're spending all of your budget. And this happens a lot in big companies where you know you have $10,000 of a budget that you have to spend. It's not about optimizing necessarily, and you always wanna optimize, but you have to actually spend that money, otherwise you won't get that budget next month or next, you know, net, net, next budget cycle or next year. Uh, you wanna use lifetime budget for seasonalities or holidays. So if you have an offer, for example, I have a week and I have a thousand dollars I want to spend. Most likely I want to show that ad and, and make sure that it delivers to people. Same thing happens with holidays like Christmas and Black Fridays, uh, where you know you have a lot of people going to the auction. Lifetime budget will basically ensure that you're spending your money and delivering your ads to people. And one of the big advantages of lifetime budget is that actually you can schedule time and days, right? So I can say, well, I want to just run my ads on Monday, Tuesday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. or weekends, you know, from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. So I can, I can actually do that with lifetime budget. With daily budget, you won't be able to do that. Uh, you're not making changes on your budget over time, right? 
you're pretty much fixed on spending that money over that specific time frame, and you're not increasing or scaling your budget necessarily. Uh, you're not really trying to figure out how to scale your budget, but you actually just have a specific time frame, a specific budget for a specific objective, and you know you're spending it regardless. And so you're not really active on optimizing the campaigns. You're probably making changes, but not as many as you would do when you're act when you're actually actively you know, optimizing on the, the results that you're getting on a daily by the, or, or bi-weekly or, or just on a more consistent basis, basically. And this is a bit how your ad scheduling look like. I, I think we've all seen this, but with, with lifetime budget, you can actually do, you know, you can select the days and the hours. And I can actually say, well, these days and these hours, I actually want to run those specific ads or show those campaigns. So you can actually do that with lifetime budget keep in mind that this is something that might come up in an exam um, and so and these are situations in which you know again if you're running offers if you want to make sure that you're spending more money one day or the others or if you're not spending your budget enough changing to lifetime budget can actually work right because you're ensuring that you're spending more money on some days versus others but you're not telling facebook when to spend or how much to spend each day facebook is going to determine how much how to do that basically and that's a huge difference with daily budget. With daily budget, it's basically the average amount you're willing to spend on a specific ad set or campaign per day, right? Unlike per time, right? What I'm basically saying to Facebook here is, I have 30 days, I have $1,000 of a budget, I actually want you to spend you know, $10 a day or $30 a day or some days these amount, but I'm actually telling Facebook how much to spend each day. And I think that's a, a big difference in that how would your graph will look like, and it's a little different than your graph for lifetime budget, right? So remember that lifetime budget, you have this, you have a, you, it's like a little roller coaster, right? It goes up and then sometimes it goes down, but there's no stability. With daily budget, this is gonna be different because if we graph this again, and we say this is time, and this is actually my budget, and let's say I'm telling Facebook I'm spending $30 each day. What I'm basically saying is this is the line that I actually want you to spend, right? And Facebook is going to do this. You still have changes, but the changes are very small. You're, you're not spending specifically you know, $30 a day, but Facebook can actually spend from those $30 up to 25% more, right? So if we think about... 25% of uh, in, in your $30, so it can spend, you know, up to 37.50. So some days it's going to spend 30, some days it can spend up to 30.50, some days it's going to spend, you know, 28, some days they'll spend the 30, some days they'll spend 32, you know, 25, and so on. But you have more stability on your budget. And I think what's important here is that I can actually measure my daily budget against my result. So let's say I'm actually getting, I'm spending $37 a day and I'm actually getting, you know, doing a, a 10 CPA, a cost per acquisition or, or cost or sale. Then I can say, well, this is actually pretty profitable. My campaigns are actually being profitable. So I'm actually increasing this threshold, right? I'm moving my graph. And I actually don't want you to spend $30 a day. I'm actually going to give you $35 now a day. So what I'm basically doing is I'm moving this graph up, right? So I'm actually saying, well, it's not 30 now. It's 35. And you can actually play around here now. And same thing. Let's say on day, and this is, let's say this is day four, and this is day eight. Actually, I can actually say, well, Actually, let's increase this again, and let's increase it to 40, right? So now you're able to play here. $40, and I'm doing this. As long as I'm able to control my results, right, and my ultimate acquisition, and I'm, I'm getting results, I'm getting a, re a good return on that spent, then daily budget is great for that right it, it's, it doesn't look the same as as your lifetime budget it looks a little different right because i'm actually telling facebook how much money can facebook spend each day so i can control that budget 
I know what results I'm getting and I can actually scale my budget. And so when do you wanna use daily budget? When you wanna control scaling. If you're actually thinking about how to scale based on results, daily budget is a great way to do it. It's a great way to A-B test. It's a great way to control the scale that you're doing, whether it's horizontal scaling or vertical scaling. Regular changes, you're actually optimizing on a consistent basis, right? You're, an you're anticipating that you know that you're scaling and therefore you're gonna be optimizing. You're gonna changing audiences, you're gonna be changing creatives. You're trying to get how to you know, maximize that budget to get the best results for your campaign. Easier pacing, right? It's easier to, to be more mindful of your tactics. You know how much you're spending, you know when you're making changes, so it's easier to pace the, the momentum of how you optimize campaigns. There's no scheduling, and I think that's a big thing. You can't really, with daily budget, you can't really go to Facebook and say, well, I want you to show the, the campaign on Mondays and Tuesdays uh, from three to five. That doesn't work with daily budget. Daily budget is, you know, you're spending money all throughout the day, but you know how much you're spending each day. It's awesome for evergreen campaigns. If you know that you have a remarketing campaign that's gonna be an evergreen campaign, you can actually sell, say, well, I know that for my remarketing campaigns, my cost per acquisition is, I don't know, $5. So I'm actually gonna say my daily budget is 15. I know that I'm still getting my, my $5 acquisition cost. I'm getting really good return on ad spend. It can keep going for as long as possible. I don't need to stop those campaigns. I can just leave them optimized same thing with with if you're acquiring new traffic you know that the campaign work you can leave it working um, and one of the things that i think it's important is you also you don't want to change your budget dramatically you want to do a, a 20 percent change increase or decrease uh, on a daily basis basis if you have ten dollars for daily budget you don't want to go the next day and say say well i'm going to put 15 or 20 because it, it messes up your campaigns. You want to do it slowly, and I would say in, in 10 to 15 to 20% increments so, so that you scale your campaigns. It takes a little longer, but in five, 10 days, you're doubling your budget if it's working. And, and it's a more controlled way of spending your budget when you're running campaigns. Uh, same thing, 25% rule, what I mentioned before, you know, Facebook may spend up to 25% more of their daily budget, so don't be, scared or worried when you see that, you know, you have $10 and all of a sudden it's been $12 that day. Uh, it, ultimately, Facebook is gonna try to average out uh, the, the $10 per day spent over the course of your week. And usually when, when it talks about week, it goes from Sunday to Saturday. So some days they'll spend a little more, some days a little less, but overall it should spend equally your $10 average. And this is a good graph that shows, you know, when they spend $12, nine, 11, and the optimizations that you're getting, how much you're spending, but basically it averages out to your $10. And that's what basically you're trying to do with daily budget. So daily budget is great for scaling, great for evergreen campaigns, and, and it's how you should be running most of your campaigns. There's, there's few instances in which you wanna actually be using lifetime budget over daily budget. So that's a bit a summary of how both daily and lifetime budget works. If you have questions over it, make sure you answer the question, uh, ask your questions below. Uh, we are always constantly looking at our comments. You can actually go to our Facebook group as well. Make sure you join our group. We have close to 17,000 members. We're helping people just become better marketers, run better ads, uh, prepare and, and you know pass and get Facebook Blueprint certified as well. We have questions of the week all the time where we're constantly asking you know, questions. You get to pick the, the answers and, and you get to ask more questions from these videos, videos as well and get content. Make sure you get our practice questions. We have a pretty good question bank with more than uh, 1,500 students that have used our practice questions to get Facebook Blueprint certified. And make sure you subscribe to our channel. I'm actually gonna leave a couple of links here that you're gonna look on your on your side of your screen that you can actually, you should watch. Uh, it just gives you more value if you're looking into more tips on how to use Facebook, if you're looking on more tips on how to prepare for your exam, those are great resources that you can use. So thanks again for listening, guys. I hope this helped. If you have questions, let me know, and we'll see you on our next tutorial. Thanks, guys.